Hi guys, welcome back to our discussion of the UI path. In this session, I will explain you how to integrate box with UI path. So first of all, what is box? Box is a cloud contained management system that provides a single place to manage, secure, share and Google all of the contained for our internal and external collaboration and processes. So as we are using any data and we are storing that data on any cloud specific server, so Box will help you to manage our data in one repository and we can use it for several projects. That is also used for the several environment as well. So Box activity enables us to automate interaction with our Box application using the Box API these activities packages gives us UiPath robots the ability to execute functions and action upload and download attachments and manage our records just like get, update, insert and delete. The box activity uses the JWT authentication to establish a connection between UiPath and our box custom app. This connection authorizes a robot to perform activity or call the box API and access resources on our behalf. So these are a basic concept about the box and integration with the UI path. So today we'll discuss how to integrate it, how to create any new custom application in box and these applications by using some security method or JWT authentication method we will integrate with your path and at the end I will show you successful connection by calling some data from box to or your path to. If you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. If you really like this video please press thumbs up. So let's begin with this, how we'll integrate it. So for this we'll need box developer login credential as well as box login credential. Don't worry about that, I will mention the URL in my description tab. You can refer both the links. And finally, we will need second thing which is box activities to be installed in our UI path. So for installing any box activity, just go to manage packages from the manage packages search box or uipart.box you're able to see this package is available download it and save it to your repository once you'll download this you're able to see integration tab inside the integration tab you can see box activities and box activities having box code execute method and different operations on search so there is having more than 25 activities that are available for the box. You can use it for your specific automation activity or you can do it any integration between box and UI path. So let's see how we'll create and manage a successful JWT token so that we will use that token inside our UI path tool. Basically, it works how to enable the outbound automation between UiPath and Box. The activities establish an authentication connection to a Box custom application using the Box scope activities. After the connection is established, the other Box activities send requests to the applicable or application Box API operations which we are using or with the parameter we enter in the activities input properties. So if the requests are successful, the activities return the response values to the output property value. So let's see how we'll do that and create a custom activity. So once you log in uh, into Box Developer Console, you're able to see this page. API Docs or SDK Tools is available on your screen. 
if you want to see any specific application is available inside your box developer console just have to click on my apps inside the my apps you able to see create a new app i have already created one but for your better understanding i will create for you as well so for creating any uh, custom activity just have to click custom activity and select next so once we will select next it will ask for the authentication method which authentication method you are going to use it. so you can click on oauth 2.0 with gwt uh, servo authentication just will click on this it will have a json web token instead of user credential select this and click on next provide your application name just like i'm providing here a test to create app once it'll create save this authorization for your future uh, uses and you can see developer token is available and you can see oauth 2 2.0 credential is also available copy this and save it for your reference application access is always selected application because we are using freeware and for advanced feature just have to enable both the option perform action as a user and generate user access token select enable integration as well for generating a public key just click on generate a public key and download it for your future use so it will ask for your credential so i have already enabled two way authentication method because of that it will pop up and uh, pin once i will enter this pin i am able to log in and save or create public authentication so now you can see here click on this and it will generate configuration file this configuration file will be generated save this and you can see this json is downloaded automatically which we'll use for inside our ui part tool you can also download it from download as a json once you'll done this click on general tab inside the general tab you have to click on review and submit so whatever configuration you have selected you have verified and once you click on review and submit that will trigger an email message to your mailbox and once you will verify from your gmail account this is enabled this application is enabled for your reference so right now i am not going to use it i am going to use my previous test ui path but the process is same for creating both the application so i have already shown you how to create it and generate so once you click on review and submit it will trigger an email message you just have to verify your email and the mobile number because i have selected two way authentication method unless and until you not verify your mobile otp and email it will not provide you access to use this application inside your uap so this is the mandatory requirement for you so once all this done go to your uap tool and simply drag and drop box scope because all these activities will be able to use inside this outside is not possible to use it for you i have already selected authentication type gwt provide your client id which we have received at the time of creation so uh, you can get it from you either you can create a variable and save this client id or you can directly enter your client id inside this so i am giving i have already created one of the variable which i am going to use it here uh, client id this is my client id and 
I have already created one password. So let me use this and you can see here I have already created all this so these variables. So let me show you how we can write our string format client security into this. So for this we need to uh, drag one assign activity and inside the assign activity we have to provide our string and convert it to secure.string. So once you convert that you are able to see the I am going to drag and drop to here. Let me drag a sign activity. Okay, now you see here. Let me create one variable which is already created. I am going to use that and the main contained I will provide here as a let me open this here inside the round bracket new system this is for converting your string type into secure dot string system dot net dot network credential and Inside the credential, we are keeping here as a empty and the password. The second variable which we have created and provided the value of our secure string. Now, at the end, we have to provide dot secure dot password. Now, you can see warnings are resolved. So, in one place, let me explain you. I've copied my security ID here in, uh, inside the password at the time of creation of this variable and save it to this. And I'm converting with the name new password so that I will use my credential here. So provide here as a new password because we have converted and it will not throw any warning message. Let's select config file path. So config file path is basically the JSON file which we have downloaded is the same path is provided with the extension name as well. So let's open our download folder. Inside the download folder, you can see this. History I have uh, downloaded this. Uh, so, I am giving here as a properties copy the folder path and the name as well. So, downloads here then backward slash and the file name which we are using here as a dot json file click on ok then dot json now you can see we have provided config file which we are going to use at the time of calling next let's see how we can perform any action inside our json so here i am going to take one folder and calling that folder as a folder information. So folder information I'm going to provide here as a inside 0 folder that is folder id. So basically 0 is the root id I am going to call as the root id as a root id as a folder name. So let me create one variable here and see the response so that that response will call it inside our message box. Not responding. 
या कंट्रोल की देन नाउ इट्स डन सो आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप वन मैसेज बॉक्स हियर इनसाइड द मैसेज बॉक्स वी आर गोइंग टू कॉल सेम मैसेज सो रिस्पॉन्स टू इज द नेम Now you can see all the warnings are resolved. Let's save this and see we are getting. So basically, it will show us our configuration is perfectly done. And once the configuration is done, we will get the folder name on our message box. So let me sign in first and then run the code. Save this, and once it is saved, let me sign in first. Once it is signed in, it will automatically jump to this browser. On this browser, it will run my code and provide the response. Now we can see we are getting this error, um, this message as a folder name because we are calling as a folder name. Or root folder name. So because of that is showing box dot b two model dot box folder. But this way we can see that our connection is successfully done, and we are getting a data from box to UI path. So let's recap this. We have started with the basic concept or detail about box. Why we are using this? Then. We jump to the UI part tool and downloaded the activities required for using integration of box to UI part. Second, we have created one custom activity, configured all the GWT parameters. After configuration, we have authorized review and submitted. Once submission is done, it will trigger an email message to our email box. Once we will verify this, uh. A review on submit method, or after verification, when we will enter our second authentication method, it will log in for us, or that application is created for us, which we can use it for integration of UI path with a box. Then we have created one sequence and configured all the parameters is required for the uh, config file path and. Client ID and secret ID, and we have converted string secret ID to the secure secret ID and call at the time of integration. And we have finally we have called the folder name or root folder name, which is available inside our box. So by this way, we can see that we have successfully configured box with your path or. Successfully integrated box with UiPath. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.